With the rate at which artificial intelligence is integrating into our lives, there is little question that it will not end soon. Rather, the future appears to be a civilization that will only exist and grow thanks to artificial intelligence. Experts anticipate that by 2030, specialized AI applications will be more popular and valuable, benefiting our economy and quality of life. The metaverse, on the other hand, already has us wrapped in its not-so-small fingers. From Facebook to Instagram, virtual reality, WhatsApp, and many more platforms, it is fairly expected that its dominion would only expand further by 2030. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you what the biggest artificial intelligence researchers and scientists expect the future of AI to look like. According to a Harvard University report, the following eight areas of human activity are already affecting urban life and will become even more pervasive by 2030. Transportation, home, service robots, healthcare, education, entertainment, low-resource communities, public safety and security, employment, and the workplace will be fully AI-enabled spaces. Some of the most difficult challenges in the next 15 years will be developing safe and reliable hardware for self-driving cars and healthcare robots. Gaining public trust in AI systems, particularly in low-resource communities, and overcoming fears that the technology will marginalize humans in the workplace. There have been several advancements in data analytics. The example of Watson, an IBM collection of algorithms, has been really amazing in terms of managing vast quantities of data and ways of arranging the data so that patterns that would not have surfaced otherwise may be seen. That was a significant step. However, people sometimes conflate that jump with machine intelligence and the way we think about intelligence in humans, which is just not true. So, while the recent advances in data analytics are significant, they also leave a lot of opportunity for people to aid these technologies. As a result, the partnership of humans with these artificial intelligence technologies might be described as the wave of the future. When completely realized, the metaverse promises to provide true-to-life sights, sounds, and even scents, such as a tour of ancient Greece or a visit to a soul cafe, all from the comfort of your own home. The at-home tourist, outfitted with full-spectrum VR headsets, smart apparel, and tactile responsive haptic gloves, may touch the Parthenon in Athens or taste the creamy froth of a Korean Dalgona coffee. You wouldn't even need to be yourself. Members of the metaverse may roam the Brazilian rainforest like a jaguar or hit the floor as LeBron James at Madison Square Garden. Your imagination is the only limit. It is also envisaged that the metaverse would be able to generate a tailored and augmented reality for each person by combining physical and behavioral biometrics, emotion detection, sentiment analysis, and personal data. While the metaverse sector is rapidly expanding, fueled by the epidemic that has kept people at home, it remains to be seen if one corporation, like as Google, would eventually emerge as the dominating force, as it already has a near monopoly among search engines. One advantage of this trend is that, because it is a virtual platform, the risks of individuals being physically wounded will be reduced, and it will also push people to step outside of their comfort zone and try new things. The sole lingering uncertainty on this subject will be the legal consequences of the metaverse. For example, whether or not a marriage in the metaverse would be lawful, or how a person who is abused in the metaverse will be punished. With the virtual avatar movement, there is a high risk of fake identification or identity theft, making it impossible to identify the right person and their real address. This should be a serious worry for all countries, as well as its legislative and criminal divisions. CRISPR, continuous regularly interspersed short palindromic repeats, is a biochemist's term for the ability to modify genes inexpensively and consistently. Exotic breeds, like as the Toyger, are popular among cat enthusiasts nowadays. Tomorrow, your family pet might be a genetically modified tiger the size of a typical house cat. If regulatory agencies prohibit the use of CRISPR technology in humans, underground labs will proliferate throughout the world as parents seek to eradicate congenital genetic diseases or give their children a heritable advantage in school and life. This will result in new inequalities and stigmas. When genetic identification cannot be proved, criminality and human trafficking will take on a new level of insidiousness. Biofabrication, the process of creating organs and skyscrapers, developments in genetic engineering may be the single most disruptive transformation, 
as bacteria, algae, and other organisms become the factories of the future. If you appreciate the notion of being vegetarian but enjoy eating meat, you may be a vegan and only consume meat that was created without killing. Companies such as Beyond Meat and Memphis Meats are currently perfecting deathless protein. Consider a guilt-free steak that contains healthful omega-3 fatty acids instead of cholesterol. Automobile frames may be woven from graphene and spider silk in the future, as may skyscraper frames produced from bedrock to the skies by a slew of microscopic animals with minimal human interaction. Someone needs to pay for all of this change, and it will still be us through targeted advertising. Your communications device, or whatever replaces the capabilities now provided by today's cell phone, might be free or significantly subsidized. However, you will not be able to avoid the latest immersive advertising without paying a charge. You will be more connected than ever before, yet advertisers will use the same biometric technology that monitors your health to discover smart methods to influence your behavior. Scientists predict that as our planet evolves, people, brains will continue to get larger, our lifespans will expand, and our cultures will evolve and merge as we adapt to new settings. With LASIK, you may now get 20 tenths eyesight. Tomorrow, you could be able to add infrared zoom lenses to your eyesight, allowing you to see 20 over 1, hawks are thought to have 20 fifths or 20 quarters vision. We now have wearable gadgets that can detect magnetic north and provide sonar-like functionality, useful for the visually impaired. You'll meet your always-on virtual helper tomorrow. Our descendants will eventually be unrecognizable. Getting robots to discern causal linkages correctly can open up a slew of new possibilities. Now we have a language to accomplish that, Pearls explains, so we can enter the information that we have about the universe and infer coherently like we do in algebra. We deduce the conclusion, and if the assumptions are accurate, the conclusion is shown to be true. The applications range from tailored medication to dealing with an epidemic like COVID, assembling a variety of information sources from diverse sections of various nations, and arriving at a cohesive conclusion based on the data that we have. On this issue, Leraga describes how his team assisted health centers during the pandemic by using Bayesian networks to decide which patients should be intubated and to forecast the course of the disease, such as whether ICU admission would be necessary or the length of hospitalization. Today, we have troubleshooters for small tech issues, but AIs will soon be diagnosing complex industrial issues that require highly trained and experienced individuals. Much of the effort spent today diagnosing and resolving issues in sophisticated industrial systems is spent attempting to determine what's wrong in the first place. If the correct person to address the problem isn't there, people working in industrial workplaces nowadays may find themselves sifting through a physical handbook in an emergency situation. In 10 years, it will not be the case. We will have systems capable of identifying difficulties and guiding even inexperienced users through the process of solving complicated obstacles in the future, Tomizuka said. The Turing test measures a machine's capacity to demonstrate intelligent behavior that is comparable to or indistinguishable from that of a human, and some AI algorithms are beginning to outperform it. The thought of a machine speaking and acting like a person may seem fresh now, but in 10 years, people may take it for granted. Consumers and businesses will collaborate with AI, and the distinction between engaging with humans and computer programs known as bots may become obfuscated. So, what is your opinion on these predictions and likely outcomes for technology and artificial intelligence by the year 2030? Do you believe them to be too optimistic or pessimistic and what predictions do you have for the year 2030? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.